peace and blessings. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own lesson plan sheets that are customized to your needs. Whether you have one child or multiple children, this should help you a great deal in creating planners that will suit those needs. Um, the planner that the sheet that I'm going to be creating is going to reflect what my daily planner sheet looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a table and the table is going to consist of rows and columns that are four we're going to start with four by seven this top area here will represent the children so just for the purposes of this video I'm going to highlight that area now in the future if you want to type their names in or create a color to represent each child you can do that this side here I'm going to bring all the way over here let me just even this up a little bit bring this over bring this over a little bit and this area here is going to represent the subjects that you will type in later and I'm going to highlight that as well okay now in this section I'm going to create a series of lines so I'm going to do about five lines okay now when I do this I'm going to create lines on the tops of each section because um, I don't want to copy and paste the lines here into these columns over here because they're not exactly even and if I do that the lines aren't going to look right so each section I will copy and paste those lines in those separate sections so for instance I'm going to highlight copy highlight all the rows down here and paste those are the lines for that area then I'm going to copy these lines here and highlight these down here and paste and do the same thing here okay now in this area here down below there is a table where you can import shapes text arrows thought bubbles all that type of stuff I'm going to click on the text button I'm going to create a box here pick the font that I want I'm going to pick uh, this one's called juice box this is a free font um, I'll post the links to the free fonts or the site where I got the free fonts in the description box so I'm gonna pick that and I'm gonna pick a font size of about 16 and we're gonna type in math now I don't know if you can see that or not I have my phone propped so please pardon that if you can't see I'm gonna put it in bold so hopefully that will help you to see it better and in this box I'm gonna go over turn this like this to this area now in this area these are properties you'll have the gallery and all of the extra stuff here once I click on the text box I have the option to adjust the width the area the position and size and all that I'm gonna go to position and size and here we have rotation it's at zero degrees right now and I'm gonna scroll down and click on 90 degrees what that does is it turns the words or the box sideways so it's going to be straight up and down I'm going to take the word math and put it in there like that so it's sideways click on text again create another box now mind you every time you click on a box you're going to have to remember to change the font now I'm going to click on let's say language arts I'm going to abbreviate because that's long. Again, click on the box. Change the rotation to 90 degrees and then I'm going to bring it up to here. Now that's a little big, so what I'll do is double click on the box, highlight what I typed in and decrease the font size. So I'm going to decrease it to let's say 13. Then once I click, it should automatically go back to the 90 degree angle that I had it on like that and then you just adjust it and make it look the way you want it to look 
And then you'll just continue to do that and fill in whatever subject matter that is relevant to your homeschool. Now in this area again here, you can type in your children's names here. So I'll just click name. You can type in their names. You can actually incorporate a color. So if you want to um, change the color so each child has their own particular color, you'll know who is who by that color in that box. And everything down here will be relevant to that child. Now, if I click up here, oops, if I click up here and press enter a couple times, I should have did this from the very beginning. I don't know if I can do it now. It's not letting me do it. What I should have done in the very beginning prior to adding my table is um, putting, pushing enter a couple of times. Make that smaller. Yeah, here we go. Now by doing this, I can just put date and I can just put in the date. So every day from whenever you know that this sheet is pertaining to that day or if this is a weekly planner sheet you can type in week of and then there's the line. Make that juice box. Now if you want to incorporate um, again a digital paper or something to make it look nice or to just to jazz it up a bit you can see so go to your gallery and I'm going to go really quickly to the Chevron again uh, Chevron papers and I'm gonna click on this dotted I think they're dots let's see what it looks like yes they're dots I'm going to click and wrap in the background. In the background like this. Now this looks very busy right now. But what I can do is take this. What you see here. Now I'm going to um, go to my rectangle option here and when I click on that you'll see colors so you can you can change the way you want the lines to look you can make a dotted straight line whatever options you have on your computer and I want my box to be white so now I can create a box here and I'm going to right click on the box and wrap in the background so now I have my planner sheet and the background is embellished I have a border so it looks nice now that's just something extra you can do you don't have to do that but if you want a little color to your sheet that's um, another option that you have so um, I hope this was clear in my explanation if it wasn't please let me know and I'll do my best to explain it better to you but this was a simple way that you can create your own personalized planner sheets for your homeschool planner Peace.